Okay, so here's the deal. I'm working on a video of trying to figure out uh, the, all of the best settings and ways of getting the most out of the iPhone 13 cameras for photo and video. And I was looking for a really good way of testing the difference between the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 13. And uh, I really wanted to test the night mode. So I decided that what it would be like the best test for the iPhone 13 with this new special night mode was to go and try and shoot the Milky Way. So it is just about eight o'clock at night. The sun's gone down. I'm gonna head up into the mountains to see uh, if I can take any Milky Way shots tonight. And if I can, I wanna see how they look on the iPhone and how they look on a normal camera, just to compare them. So I have just, I've just hiked out to a place where I should be able to see the Milky Way. It's not great shooting conditions for tonight, but I should be able to get some shots. So we're gonna try first, um, first the iPhones, and then we're gonna switch over to the DSLR. Let's see how this goes. This is the phone rig. So you can see there, we're maxing out at 30 seconds in raw. And we're gonna go ahead, turn this light off. Fire that up. So just a little bit of background on this test. Um, about a month ago, I was down in southern Utah and I just decided to try and shoot the Milky Way with my iPhone 12. I did a seven photo stack and I got okay results. It's very grainy, very noisy. I really had to adjust for colored noise and kind of paint in the colors of the Milky Way and really, really work to bring things out in Photoshop. But it's, it's an okay photo. Um, so with iOS 15, they've added, that was done on iOS 14. With iOS 15, they've extended night mode or at least in part to the iPhone 12 as well as the iPhone 11. So I wanted to bring those out with me before we traded them up for our 13s to, to see how that worked too. So here first is the iPhone 11. Now I can't really do very much with it. There's not much retained detail. It all got compressed out. It's an okay image. You can see the Milky Way is there, but you don't get a lot of the really good definition or details. Um, on the 12, I was able to enable Pro Raw because I had the 12 Pro, um, and I was able to get this. This is actually a pretty good image out of the 12, but there's a lot of palletization. There's a lot of um, blurriness that seems to be coming from how the 12 was processing low light. So here, the next shot is really what I went to go test, which is dun da 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 the iPhone 13. Now that is a completely usable shot of the Milky Way. It's not perfect, it's not flawless. I didn't have great shooting conditions last night. There's a lot of glow on the horizon. The galactic center was setting too quickly and so I wasn't able to uh, really get a good comp with it um, just where I was shooting. Um, but it's in the exact same rig as I shot the 12 on. So I'm shooting from the same perspective and you can see side by side just how much more clear the iPhone 13 is than the 12 when shooting in night mode. Now before you freak out about you know losing your DSLRs and I'm going to have to switch everything over to an iPhone. I did bring my GH5S with me, a Micro Four Thirds, to get the same shot, set it on the same tripod, the same uh, field of view, set it up, and this is the shot that I got. Now that one, that is actually a usable professional style shot. But just because like this is one that I could print, whereas the iPhone may be borderline, depending on the situation, um, doesn't mean that we should write off what the iPhone can do like that to me is an incredible image coming out of this phone um, using the night mode exposure. Now I am working on a video that goes into depth about all of the different settings on the iPhone cameras, uh, including how to shoot in SDR and HDR. I did some dynamic range tests on my iPhone 13 to figure out exactly how Apple is reading the scene, what you can get out of third party apps. So expect that coming in the near future. Uh, and if you want more videos diving deep into how technology works and how you can use it better, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Um, 
check out my course on high dynamic range imaging if you're interested. That's from scene to screen, the HDR image pipeline, and you can watch the first 30 minutes of that for free here on YouTube. Um, Till next time, I'm Sam Bellotto, and I'll see you soon.